I'm Kay Jamison, and I'm the biographer of Robert Lowell, and this is what I'm reading. From a Surgeon's Journal by Harvey Cushing. Uh, Harvey Cushing was a professor of neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins and generally regarded as the first neurosurgeon. These are journals that he kept during World War I, his surgical notes, um, in a field hospital in France where he was seeing unbelievable wounds. And I, I find it an astonishing book because he would operate for 10 hours in mud and exposed to flu and, and, and all sorts of horrible things. And then at night he would write up uh, his results when he was exhausted and tired. Queen Elizabeth I by J.E. Neal, this classic biography of Queen Elizabeth. And I have always just found her remarkable. I just The times were remarkable. Uh, England during that incredible period of a, a empire and creativity in uh, every field imaginable. To have this woman with such power and such capacity to use power and to learn and to be so educated and so well read and um, to be able to influence the world in so many ways is, is just seems to me a remarkable thing. Sunset Song by Lewis Grassic Gibbon. It's a novel, a Scottish novel about a young woman um, who was brought, brought up on a farm, and it's probably the best portrayal that I've, I've read of a really courageous, strong um, young woman. Um, and it's quite amazing to me that it was actually written by a man. It, it just has a, an ability to portray this young woman's ability to not just survive, but to, to again, get into life after great uh, difficulty um, and great pain and suffering, uh, but just to move on. And it's the most beautifully written book. Uh, it's just ex exquisitely beautiful. It's, it's one of the most popular books that's ever been written in Scotland, and I think it's not so well known, perhaps, in, in America. <laughs>